Hello students, myself Mehul Kodia from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in today's session, uh, we have to start one new subject that is computer aided design. Clear? Okay. So in this subject, we have to learn total six chapter like chapter number one that is introduction, chapter number two that is curves and surfaces, chapter number three that is mathematical representation of solid, chapter number four geometric transformation, chapter number five finite element analysis and chapter number six that is engineering optimization. So in this subject we have to learn this six chapter clear so in introduction portion we have to learn some different type of graphic display devices like lcd led and in curves and surfaces we have to understand how many types of curves used in design like uh, hyperbola parabola line ellipse etc and surfaces like analytical surfaces and synthetic surfaces okay in mathematical representation of solid so that is the meaning of mathematical representation of solid we have to design one object in 3d in any of the software like uh, solidworks like uh, autocad and proe and creo clear and what is geometric transformation geometric transformation means you have to transfer any of the image from one position to another position and chapter 5 that is finite element analysis in this chapter we have to find the solution of different types of uh, problems like cantilever beam and uh, uh, you know, uniform distributed load and all we have to also calculate the deformation of beam in this chapter and chapter number 6 that is engineering optimization means we have to uh, optimize any of the problem and find the solution using optimization methods clear so in this uh, subject we have to understand these six chapters clear so before starting this uh, uh, learning of this subject you have to understand once we start to learn what uh, computer aided design subject so first question come in, your, come in your mind what is design so as a mechanical engineering uh, the definition of design is different as compared to other students clear so what is design design means uh, you have to modify any of the existing system or you have to create uh, a new design the, uh, the design has a two parts either you can uh, make your own design or you can make uh, uh, some uh, change the existing design clear so that is the design for learning design as a mechanical engineer you have to understand some basic uh, uh, phenomena and uh, you already learn engineering graphics subject in semester one uh, so you all know what is orthographics what is isometrics clear so all terms are used in this subject clear so this is first question coming in your mind what is design so you have to understand that design means you have to make either your own design or make uh, some changes in the existing design clear and try to find out the solution of that design clear okay so uh, now you all are coming semester number five clear means uh, almost you complete your half of engineering clear so you are as an engineer what is design you can understand based on this uh, diagram clear so first you have to identify the problem clear so once you want to make design any of the components so first of all you have to find out which type of problem occurs clear so first of all you have to identify the problem like describe the challenge to be solved and including limits and uh, uh, constraint clear so first of all first step of any of the design that is the identify the problem what is the actual problem after that you have to explore this problem clear and you have to uh, get some literature survey you have to uh, research uh, this pro th that problem according to this component you have to identify which type of user use this component clear so you have to uh, explore this problem clear like research what other have done clear and what you can you you want to do in this uh, problem clear so you have to explore this problem next step that is design means you have to design is 
you have to draft uh, this design in uh, any of the paper clear with uh, uh, some dimension like it's called a prototype clear so you have to design uh, the, this uh, uh, draw draw this uh, component or uh, design this component in the on the paper clear now uh, next step that is create means make your solution you have to identify the problem after that you can you have to explore this problem after that you have to design this problem then after you have to solve uh, try to solve this problem clear and uh, uh, after that you have to uh, test your solution once you find solution after that you have to test your solution then after uh, you have to once you find any of the solution after that you have to work on that solution and try to make it better clear and you have to repeat this cycle again and again for finalizing your product clear so first uh, you have to so this is the definition of design as a mechanical engineering you have to understand this definition clear because you are an engineer so first you have to uh, identify the problem after that you have to explore this problem after that you have to design this problem then after you have to create this uh, create the solution after that test your solution then after you have to uh, uh, make better uh, of your solution clear yeah, so this is the definition of design now once you decide if you want to design or manufacturing any of the product means so suppose you want to manufacture any of the product then the process is divided into two parts first part is a design part second part is a manufacturing part clear so in design part you have to uh, prepare complete design of that component with dimension and in manufacturing you have to uh, define uh, uh, which process you are use like turning facing knurling which machine machining process you have to use which which machine you have to use you have to uh, decide in the manufacturing system uh, manufacturing portion clear so if you want to uh, uh, create any of the uh, component or you want to manufacture any of the product then this post this part is divided into two parts design and manufacturing clear okay so now you all are a mechanical engineering so you all know uh, what is uh, orthographic and what is isometric so you all know in orthographic what is the meaning of orthographics you already learn in engineering graphics if you have uh, any 3d object based on this 3d object you have to draw the front view of this object top view and side view of this object using two types of uh, system like first angle system and third angle system clear that thing you already learn in engineering graphics now in market different types of software available like solidworks autocad creo proe hypermesh fusion clear so you at least you have to learn two to three modeling software and a number of four analysis software also available in the market like ansi skatia and all clear so now this is the is one uh, simple example of the orthographic so the here is a one object 3d object and you can uh, observe this 3d object after that you have to identify direction from the direction of view that is which which part is a top portion which part is a front view which part is a side view clear so you can easily understand what is orthographic this is the good example of orthographic clear this is the one simple 3d object and in this 3d object you have to observe this object from th three different direction clear and you will get a uh, front view top view and side view according this uh, component uh, with proper dimension you have to draw all the view clear so this is the simple uh, example of the orthographics now what is isometric you already uh, learn isometric so in isometric you have to make one 3d model using different side views means uh, the data available with you that is only uh, the side view data and uh, using this uh, side view you have to merge this side view and you have to make one 3d model that is the isometric so for the uh, for the understanding of care or for the modeling you have to really understand uh, any of the modeling software then at that time uh, you have to understand what is orthographic and what is isometric because uh, if you know isometric and orthographic then and then you can make any of the design in software 
Clear? So here is a some uh, 3D modeling list, uh, list out of some 3D modeling software like AutoCAD, KDA, SolidWorks, Fusion 360, Creo, and Proe. Clear? So in this subject, this that is a computer aided design. Uh, you have to at the end of uh, this semester at least you have to learn one modeling software and one analysis software. So you have in market right now SolidWorks is the most popular uh, software uh, used industry for the modeling purpose. Clear. So SolidWorks and uh, as a analysis software you can uh, understand as ANSYS is the better. Clear. So in ANSYS you can make uh, different types of analysis like a uh, vibration analysis, uh, force analysis and beam analysis. Uh, harmonic analysis so uh, ANSYS software uh, you can uh, uh, optimize or you can uh, uh, so may, uh, find out the solution from any of the component using ANSYS software clear so you have to understand two types of software in this subject that is first one is a modeling software and second one is a analysis software clear so in uh, the in this subject total six chapter is there in introduction portion we have to understand some basic detail some basic phenomena like pixel so what is pixel what is resolution clear what is the size of picture uh, size of the any of the image and uh, how to calculate the uh, size of any of the image some basic fundamental we have to understand in the introduction portion like what is the full form of LED light emitting diode what is the full form of LCD that is a liquid crystified uh, uh, display clear so uh, in uh, introduction portion uh, we have to also understand what is product cycle means what is the meaning of product cycle product cycle means if you want to manufacture in any of the pro any of the product at that time you have to follow this cycle really again and again you have to follow and at the end of this cycle you can get some better or finalized product clear so product cycle now product in product cycle there is a two types conventional product cycle and computer aided product cycle what is conventional product cycle that means in conventional product cycle we have to use lathe machine and all means and uh, we uh, don't use a uh, current conventional product cycle any of the automation uh, machine like cnc vmc and all clear so in introduction portion we have to learn some basic fundamental of this subject curves and surfaces as you already learned what is uh, in, in this uh, uh, chapter you have to learn what is this simple equation of straight line that is y is equal to mx plus c what is the equation of circle that is x square plus r square y square is equal to r square so you all know all the basic concept of the uh, all the curves but we have to understand how this curves grow in the software in the graphic display device so in graphic display devices uh, any of the modeling software made uh, source code of this modeling software that is c language clear so in this uh, any of the modeling software uh, why the straight line is true so which process is running behind the screen so we have to understand that thing in this chapter clear and uh, third chapter you all know mathematical representation of solid in this chapter we learn one modeling software that is SOLIDWORKS what is geometric transformation means uh, uh, once you draw one triangle in this software and if you want to move this triangle from one place to another place so that is the process of simple geometric transformation it's called translation clear if you want to rotate this triangle at some degree clear so this is the rotational transformation clear so this type of different types of transformation we have to learn in geometric transformation and in finite element analysis we have to solve uh, some numerical based on beam analysis and all clear so this is the simple uh, subject introduction of computer aided design in next lecture we will start uh, chapter number one that is introduction and in next lecture we discuss two topics uh, conventional product cycle and product cycle with CAD. Yeah. Thank you.